Hey everyone, Pastor Eddie here. We're continuing in our 21 day journey through the book of John as we pray and as we fast. And I hope that this, uh, this theme of awakening is really taking place in your life. I hope that God is awakening you to new truths and to new realities about who you are and who you were made to be in him. Today we are looking at the book of John chapter 9 and it's an incredible story today about a man who was blind and Jesus and his disciples happen to come across this man uh, on their journey and the disciples ask Jesus, they say, Jesus, is it because of this man's sin or because of his parents' sin that he was born blind? And then Jesus goes on to tell them that, hey guys, that's an irrelevant point. That really doesn't matter. The whole point here is that uh, God's work, God's uh, goodness and his faithfulness can be shown in this man's life because of his blindness. And so Jesus proceeds to, uh, to approach the man. He spits into the ground, creates this mud uh, and puts it on the man's eyes, gives him some instructions to go to a certain pool and to wash off his eyes. And suddenly the man can see he can see. And everybody is amazed, so much so that the religious leaders, they begin to grill him with questions and they begin to just completely um, question him over and over and over and again. Like, who did this? Who made you see? How did this happen? And the man just keeps saying, I don't know. I like, I, I don't know. All I know is that I, 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 I couldn't see that I talked to this man they called Jesus and now I can see. That's all I know. And the religious leaders were trying to find a way to pin down Jesus. They were trying to find, trying to find a logical explanation for what had happened. And uh, the bottom line was that there was no logical explanation. And so as we move on through the book of John chapter 9, um, Jesus talks about spiritual blindness and he talks about, um, he talks about, uh, the fact that, that, that we're all blind in some ways and that Jesus, he says, uh, I have come to the world, in, in verse 39, it says, I have come to the world so that the blind will see and for those that think that they can see, for those who will see that they become blind. And so Jesus was always kind of speaking in riddles. He was always turning this conventional uh, religious uh, ideal on its head to let them know that it wasn't their good works. It wasn't their law that was keeping them in close relationship with the Father, but it was relationship. It was a dependence on Jesus. And so three major takeaways from uh, John chapter 9. Number one, God wants to work through our defects. In verse 3 of John chapter 9, it says this. It says, Neither the man nor his parents sinned, but this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. God wants to work through our defects. Number two, God's ways are rarely conventional. God's ways are rarely what you think they're going to be. He rarely does things the way that you think they're going to be. In, in verse 6, he says, uh, Having said this, he spit on the ground made some mud with the saliva and put it on the man's eyes. How weird is that? Just a crazy way to, uh, to do what he needed to do. He could have done it any other way, but he chose that way. It's rarely conventional what God does. And then the third thing is this, and probably the most important takeaway from John chapter nine, is that your story is the second greatest story ever told. In verse 25 of John chapter nine, they're grilling him with all these questions. And he, he says, you know what? I, I don't know if he's a sinner or not. I don't know anything about this. All I know is that I was blind and now I see. People can't argue with your testimony. They can't argue with, with what God has done in your life. As a matter of fact, uh, many times it's what leads them to a deeper interest and a deeper um, pursuit of faith is hearing what God has done in your life. So share your story freely and remember that your story is the second greatest story ever told. The first being that of Jesus Christ. The second being yours. God bless you guys. Have a great day.